I want to talk about system. Yeah, great. Because there's a, a band that I think a lot of people listening and watching this now will, will be really interested to know what it's like working with them because, yeah. I mean, you've got four characters in a band, all of them very strong characters. Absolutely. And the music they make is very strong and very unique. Absolutely. T just talk us through, tell us some stories about System of a Down and how it's been like to work with them. Yeah. Um, I remember seeing, going to see them the first time I went to see them play. They played at the Viper Room in L.A. It was packed and, uh, you know, 200 people. And um, Sold out. <laughs> sold out. And I remember watching the show and just laughing. I laughed the whole time. It was the funniest thing I'd ever seen, but in a good way. It wasn't yeah. like laughing like, what a joke. It was just so over the top and so extreme and um, like Armenian folk dancing with heavy metal riffs and um, you know wild political lyrics and screaming it was just it was crazy music and usually heavy music falls a lot of heavy music falls into a similar thing mm. um, I'm not going to say it's interchangeable because it's not, but there are certain rules of heavy metal, let's say, that everyone sort of follows those rules. It's a loyal fan base. Yeah. And they like, yeah. And System of a Down were a heavy band, you could say a heavy metal band, who didn't follow those rules. Mm. So they didn't have the rhythms that you'd hear in a typical, you know, you wouldn't hear a Metallica rhythm you'd hear a system of a down rhythm, which was different, dun, 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 like different gallops and different, um, and it's rooted in their Armenian, Armenian heritage. Mm. So they took elements from folk music and brought that into heavy metal. And I remember at the time, I'd never heard anything like it. And I, and I can remember people, while there were those of us who loved them fanatically, people hated them. Yeah. You know, people hated them. I can remember the, the big radio station in L.A. is uh, K-Rock. Yeah. And Kevin Weatherly is the uh, program director of K-Rock. And I remember him saying, System of a Down is a band we will never play on our <laughs> station ever. 100%. I don't care what happened. They're not. That doesn't fit on our station. And then a year later, it was the number one band on the station. Unbelievable. Yeah. How, I it's know like it's, they clearly didn't fit, but they were so good that they transcended not fitting and those are the artists that i like the best those are my favorite artists the ones that they don't really fit anywhere they're not another in this mold um rage against the machine is another great example it's like rage against the machine they don't sound like anyone no one before rage against the machine sound like rage against the machine and I'll, and a lot of people didn't like them for that reason but those are the revolutionary bands those are the ones that changed the world